guys, how's it going? Scooty here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Highlander Spy Basics Guide. Um, obviously this isn't, you know, oh my god, if you listen to this video, or watch the video, you'll be God Spy for the rest of your life, but this is just for people who are, you know, starting to get into competitive as Spy. Um, I'm mainly doing this for a buddy of mine, but, you know, obviously it'll benefit everyone, so yeah, because we're going to get into it. Alright, so the first category I'm going to go over today is communication. This is probably one of the most important ones in this video I'm going to be discussing. The first point in communication is, well, call the combo's position. A combo is normally the heavy medic or heavy, or not heavy demo, what the fuck, medic demo, anything that the medic is generally pocketing. Second point is, call crits and uber percentage. This is so fucking important. Most spies in, you know, stealing up do this, but I've seen some people who just never have done it. And how you do this is, all you do, is you look at the enemy medic. Literally, just look at the enemy medic, it'll show you what uber percentage he has, say it. Because that way your team will know if you have an uber advantage or uber disadvantage, like if your team is more uber, blah blah blah. Third point is, check regularly to see if the medic is using crits or uber. Not just at the beginning of the game. Now, how you do this is, basically all you do is you disguise as the enemy medic, pull out your sapper, and press your redisguise button. That'll bring out the enemy medic's minigun. That way you can see, okay, they're running crits, or that, okay, they're running uber. But you don't want to do this just once around. You want to do this multiple times. Like, say on, for example, Viaduct, beginning of the round, obviously you do it there. But say you die a few lives later, and you're like, okay... And you're walking to mid. You can just check it as you're walking to mid. Like, it, it takes a while to get to the main point in Viaduct for some reason. So, yeah. The fourth point I have in this is call the sniper's placement regularly. That means, like I said, as you're walking to the battlefield, if you can, don't go out of your way to just look for the sniper, but if you see the sniper, call it out. It's really important so that way your medic and other classes know where to go and where not to go. And then the final point I have in this section, I guess you could call it, is call the sentry placement. Now, on certain maps like King of the Hill, this isn't as important. Because, um, you know, pretty much they'll be running mini sentry. I mean, you, I mean, if your team's going for the push, call mini sentry on the right of mid or point or whatever the fuck. But, I mean, this is more important on, like, payload and CP maps. Obviously payload, because, you know, level 3s. <laughs> but, yeah. Alright, now the second... It, I can't speak. Why am I doing this? Sorry, guys. The second section I have for you today is priorities. First point is, if viable, not just possible, go for the medic. That means if it's a good time to, go for it, but don't always only go for the medic. Because he'll, they'll learn you're just, oh, he's going for me 24-7. So if I protect myself, he's not going to get any picks. You want to have some variety in who you go for. Generally, here's my second point here, generally you want to kill heavier classes. Demo, heavy, soldier, anything that'll help with a push a lot. Third point is, pick the fucking sniper. <laughs> a lot, like, seriously. Because, like I said, the sniper can take out your medic in one shot. I mean, yeah, the spy can too, but it's a lot easier for a spy to kill a sniper than a spy to find another spy. So, get the fucking sniper. Now, the fourth point, destroy teleporters whenever possible. Not just, oh, eh, it's it's there, I might destroy it. No, fucking kill that shit. It takes two seconds to put a fucking sapper on it and switch back to your fucking knife or gun. Just do it. It'll help your team so much, because if your teleporters are up and theirs are down, guess what? You get to mid faster, you can push faster, you can, it's just, just do it. Just do it. And then, my fifth point, and probably final is kill the goddamn sentry. Just just kill every sentry. Like I said, it takes maybe two full seconds to fucking pull out your sapper, click or left click, and pull out your knife again. Generally, you want to do this when your team is pushing, so that way, eh, okay, sentry's sapped, we're going to shoot at it real quick, because your team's there. A third point here, or not third point, sorry, category is illusions. It's mainly, like, stuff with disguising and watches and shit. Um, I really only have three main points, because Spy is generally a pretty open class in Highlander. First point, use friendly disguises while walking to mid, or at least at the start of the round. I mean, I have a bad habit of not doing this, honestly. 
Like, I'll be disguised as, like, an enemy spy or enemy sniper the entire walk to mid. I mean, obviously, I change disguises afterwards, but... Especially with the Dead Ringer out, disguises maybe like a friendly scout or friendly something and just walk onto the battlefield. It'll make your fan much more believable and it'll give them false intel. Second point, double fan with the Dead Ringer when possible. What's a double fan, Scooty? Basically, double fan is when you, well, get hit while you have a Dead Ringer out, decloak, get as much metal as fast as possible, and then get hit with your Dead Ringer out again. That way, basically, I can't speak, Jesus. Basically, it looks like you can't, you, there's no way you could have Dead Ringer twice in a row, unless you pick up metal. You want to pick up metal so it looks like you actually died the second time. And this is probably the biggest one in this category. Rotate disguises. I've seen so many spies use like one or two disguises the entire game. I do this every once in a while. But, yeah. I mean, I've even seen platinum spies, like high tier platinum spies, not change disguises for like 20 minutes. And like I said, I can't talk shit about those players because I do it too, but... It's just you gotta you just gotta get in the mood for it. I mean not in the mood, but you gotta get you gotta do it. Alright, and now that's pretty much the main part of my guide. I have some general tips. Um obviously if you're getting destroyed by the pyro, try to pick classes he isn't protecting, even if it's only the scout. Because if at least the scout's down, then you don't have to worry about your flank as much. But yeah. If necessary, have someone distract the pyro. Like seriously. You don't you don't know how many times I've been in like silver mixes or scrims or just hanging out with other teams, you know. Like, hey, can someone spam at their medic so I can get them, so I can pick them? They're like, yeah, sure, and I get the med pick, like. Basically, if you have someone distract the pyro for even a split second, it'll help you move in. But this is only if your team's comfortable with that. I mean, you know, some teams are, like, super strict, like, no, I'm busy picking the scout, I'm not gonna kill the pyro. But, yeah. Um, obviously, you want to go for big picks when the enemy's pushing. I mean, if you fucking pick their demo man right before they pop Uber on him, I mean, what the fuck are they going to do? I mean, yeah, they can Uber the heavy, but really, I mean, that it's just not as effective. You want to get the big classes. And this is more of a, I guess, technical one, te technical tip here. You want to use walls to hide and listen for the pyro's flames if he's an active spy checker. Like, there's been so many times where I'll just sit behind a wall and just, the pyro's flames will get closer, so I'll back up. And as soon as the pyro's flames sound gets less audible, which is like quieter, I'll go for the pick, because that means he's farther away. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's kind of unorganized, I know, but I'm tired, okay? <laughs> I'm just fucking around. Alright guys, I hope you like my basic Highlander guide for Spy. Um, like I said, it's not like 100%, you listen to these tips, you're going to play Platinum next year, but... Yeah, hopefully this gets you somewhere in the community of competitive Team Fortress 2, and I hope to play with you in a match. And yeah, peace out guys, hope you enjoyed.